Welcome back to Ride JBI. This is JB. Today is an update on our JBI suspension WP cone valve experiment fork. These forks we bought a couple years ago and they sat on our workbench for another couple years after that until we finally had time to take them apart and refurbish them is the first thing we had to do. We have a video on that, but this fork looks much different than it originally did. Anyways, this video isn't about the refurbishment. It is about the settings that we have been developing over the past year on these WP comb valve forks. So we'll get right into it. Here's the mid valve assembly on this fork. As you can see, there is no cone. It has been removed. We have nothing against cone valve forks. We have a set right here that we have developed some really good settings with, and I like them a lot. Well, that's one of the forks. The other one's up on the shelf. So yes, we still have cone valve forks. We still use them. We still test them. We still develop them. But we also like to try other things as well. And what this is, is the leaf spring mid valve setup by Ride JBI. It adapts into the existing cone valve fork. So you can use the existing rebound post, or that's, we can call it the cone valve post. And you can see we have a really nice, well set up. Oh, let's see if we can get that in focus leaf spring mid valve setup the gold piece on bottom is our jbi titanium leaf spring washer and we also have a jbi titanium just washer on top as well um, this is set up for motocross you can see how flexy it is you can see the bottom stack the one on top of our gold leaf spring washer you can see that deflect down as we apply pressure so that's what's unique about these leaf spring style mid valves is depending on the shim stack design we built on top of this will determine our spring rate. So that'd be similar to changing out your cone fork spring rate, meaning the cone valve spring that's underneath that. You can change out that spring to be softer or stiffer. Just like this setting, we can change out the shim design to make this stiffer or softer. Um, one could argue we have a lot more options with the shims in terms of what spring rate we want to utilize for our leaf spring. And then, of course, on top of it is a standard mid-valve compression shim stack. These are always, or not commonly, they're always found inside of the KYB forks that are inside of all the YZF models. And now all of the YZ models since 2022 the leaf spring mid valve is a very popular style of mid valve for many reasons. It performs well, it has low inertia, so think very small weight of moving parts. It is highly responsive and it is highly tunable as well, just using shims. <sighs> Sorry, a little out of breath. Been a busy day here at the shop. We are pairing this with our JBI titanium sub valve. That is this piece here in gold. We can see in the center of this, I'll give you a little more view of the configuration we got going on underneath here. Kind of hard to see because the free piston covers it up. But we have a product page on ridejbi.com that shows you our JBI titanium sub valves that we offer for these WP cone valve forks and also for the Exact Pro and Explore Pro forks. <sighs> now, those of you that are keen to suspension, You'll notice that the mods that we did are very KYB style mods. And that's exactly what we're doing to these WP forks. I love the WP forks, the cone valve system, or no, to be more specific, the cartridge system they have for these forks. Everything's really nicely made. It's got really good parts and pieces and good design. However, we feel like that it could definitely be improved by utilizing a sub valve and also the leaf spring mid valve design as well. So think of it as doing a KYB upgrade to our WP forks. At this point right now, before I made these updated settings tonight, I, I would say that the settings before this were working equally as good as our WP cone valve forks. Now the next setting we have here that I'm working on we're trying to achieve that uh, 
level of plushness where you ride the bike and you go, oh my God, this feels like I'm cheating. We're trying to achieve that while maintaining the good bottoming resistance and hold up that these forks already have and that we've developed into these forks. And that is a really tricky part, is taking an existing already fork design that performs really well and tune it and upgrade it in areas without creating a compromise or a loss somewhere else in how the fork performs. So I'm excited to go try this out tomorrow at Fox Raceway. I already got one cartridge built up. That is this one right here. And uh, yeah, so let's take this out. So here's our one cartridge assembly. So really pleased with all the uh, just development and work we've been doing on the KYV stuff for the past pretty much year. Um, we've really improved all of our WP Pro Component settings. Sorry, I'm just putting this back on real quick. We really improved all our WP Pro Component settings and also our WP OEM suspension settings as well. The fun part of testing is that we've been doing a lot of testing back to back to back. So what I mean by that is we bring these this set of fork to the track, we would bring these set of forks to the track, and we'd even bring our KYB set of forks, which we have up here. Right here, we bring those to the track as well, or maybe even some of our WP Exact Pro forks. And by doing that, it allows us to test all these different fork types and setups and figure out what the strength is of each fork and also maybe the weaknesses or shortcomings of each fork. Now keep in mind, each fork is performing very well and much better than stock. So right now, all we're doing is trying to improve upon our already good settings. And that's where it really helps to have extra sets of suspension. So it can be much easier to determine if the changes that we made are better than what we've been riding worse than that we've been riding or just feels different and doesn't really do anything. So looking forward to trying these out tomorrow at Fox Raceway. We'll definitely be sharing some more information on this JBI suspension WP DIY kit that we are coming out with for these WP cone valve forks. And uh, yeah, all JBI suspension services and parts can be found at RideJBI.com.